Are you setting your team members up for maximum success? Hi, I'm Jose Medina with Powered by Impact, and today I'm here to talk to you about something that is very near and dear to my heart, which is setting your team members up for maximum success. And the tool that we use at Powered by Impact to make sure that we are setting every team member up for maximum success is the 30, 60, 90. So this is a tool that we use um, to make sure that at the end of 90 days, we have made a good hire and that person is succeeding in their top 20% of their responsibilities. So this is not only for agents, but it's also for administrative people on our team. Anybody that comes onto our organization has a 30, 60, 90. So let's talk about some of the fundamental aspects of what a 30, 60, 90 is um, and how to set that person up for success. So the first thing is it starts with you. It starts with you as a leader. This is your chance to show up as a leader and um, set clear expectations, communicate clearly, um, prepare for this meeting of presenting a 30, 60, 90 to your new hire. The, the interview process is all about them. The 30, 60, 90 is all about you as a leader and how you show up. That's the first thing. Second thing is the 30, 60, 90 is really set up to it's almost like a kid riding a bike. Think about when you taught a kid how to ride a bike. You don't just push them out and say, go do it, right? You walk with them and then you run with them and then you your hand go a little bit. It's really the concept of, I'm gonna do it with you, we're, our, we're gonna do it together, and then I'm gonna watch you do it and be here for you, and then at some point, you're doing it all, right? And so that's the concept of the 30, 60, 90 is the first 30 days, you're you're more with them. The next 30 days, you're less with them. The next 30 days, you're even less with them, right? And so that is the concept. Uh, the other fundamental aspect of a 30, 60, 90 is playing red light, green light. And here's what that means. Um, if at 30 days, they are not succeeding at at least 80% of the activities in the 30, 60, 90, it may mean red light, which means you may have not made the right hire and it may be a, not a fit in that role and that we need to exit with class, right? We do that at 30 days, we do that at 60 days, and we do that at 90 days. So we wanna play red light, green light with our new team member during the 30, 60, and 90 uh, day benchmarks throughout the process. Last thing, and this is the biggest mistake I see people doing with the 30, 60, 90. Um, what I see people doing all the time is they are, and I, and I made this mistake to begin with as well, they are basing everything on results, not activities. So your 30, 60, 90 should be set up 100% on activities, not the results. And so, Here's what I would say is, here's a common example. I bring on a new buyer agent into my organization. Within 30 days, I wanna see them have two accepted offers or one accepted offer, whatever it is. That is a result. That is not an activity. The reality is I could be the best real estate agent and I may not have anything under contract in the first 30 days. What we really wanna do is focus in on the activities. So this person needs to hold four open houses in the first 30 days. They need to have 100 contacts fully filled out in the first 100, in the first 30 days. So those are the items that we know that that person can control. That is an effort thing and an activity concept, not an act, a result. So make sure that you are focusing in on, res, on activities, not results. Uh, again, my name's Jose Medina with Powered by Impact. Thanks.